had. It was the sizzling summer of 77, and filming of Grease was finally underway. John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John were giving the play a magical makeover. Your story sad to tell A teenage ne'er-do-well But one of the movie's brightest highlights was a dreamy lesson from the original 50s teen idol, Frankie Avalon. Beauty school dropout No graduation day for you I think the movie has really touched my life because so many people relate to it. I mean, the generation that started with it back in the 50s is really my generation. But then again, as time has gone by, kids that are 12, 13 years old come up to me and say, could I have your autograph? When I saw that vision of Frankie Avalon, woo, coming down the steps, I mean, I, I'm drooling now, man. I mean, it was no acting. The guy is really awesome. Beauty school dropout. Around the corner store. The song would create a permanent wave that Avalon would ride for years. Of all the songs, he's had so many hits. Of all his hits, of all the songs that he ever recorded, the most requested song is Beauty School Dropout. Baby, don't blow it. Don't put my good advice to shame. I think the reason why the music still holds up today is because it's recognizable. I mean, it's, it's melodic, uh, it's lyrical, it flows, it's fun, it makes sense, it goes along with the scenes of the picture. Go back to high school. Welcome to National Bandstand, coming to you live from Rydell High School. This is the event you've all been waiting for, the National Dance Off. And away we go with Johnny Casino and the Gamblers. Doo-wopper Sha Na Na fleshed out the 50s feel. Starring as Johnny Casino and the Gamblers, they would contribute six songs to the soundtrack. Rock and roll is here to stay, it will never die. The producers of the film, Alan Carr, felt we were the only band that could really play the band. It was a nice little trick that the filmmakers and the music makers completed in that they drew you in. You could listen to the Sha Na Na songs that my mom and dad liked and, you know, and not be turned off. We augmented the songs from the musical with some of the great rock and roll songs of all time. You get to do How Done, Rock and Roll Sit Stay, classic songs which in turn became classics next to some of the songs from Greece. Guess mine is not the first But the songs that would eventually carry the soundtrack into the stratosphere were never part of the original play. The producers wanted two fresh tunes to showcase Olivia Newton-John's singing talents. So they turned to John Ferrer, the tunesmith who'd written most of her hits. They needed a, a romantic ballad for the movie that they were writing in for her. I didn't think Hopelessly Devoted to You would be as successful as it was. So then I did You're the One and I Want. And um, I saved my dying career. <laughs> With Ferrer devoting himself to Olivia Newton-John's success, musical director Louis St. Louis took a crack at crafting a solo smash for John Travolta. I sort of just offhandedly said, you know, girls' name songs were so popular then Sherry Baby, Gloria, uh, Donna, etc. The song should be called Sandy. So Alan Carr said, well, you're so smart, why don't you go home and write that? Sandy, my darling. You hurt me real bad. I got back to the hotel, sat down at the piano, wrote the music in 15 minutes, called Scott Simon from Sha Na Na. I said, quick, come over here, help me with these lyrics. We could have like a big song in this movie. And it was all happening like that night. It was like, he needs a song, and then we'd record our stuff, and we'd write the song that night. And then they played it for John Travolta, and later that afternoon, it was my song, dedicated to my first girlfriend, Sandy. <laughs> John Travolta's drive-in lament was destined to become one of the movie's most memorable moments. 
especially after director Randall Kleiser supercharged the film with sexual innuendo. We wanted to put as much sexual references in as we could because that's what makes it fun. I knew that I wanted to have something on the screen behind John when he was singing his song, and I saw this one 1950s trailer, a little animation of the hot dog jumping in the bun, and I said to the um, playback operator, can you uh, time it so that the hot dog jumps into the bun right at the end of the song? Randall said, I want to show you something on the drive-in screen in the background that I want to use, and I hope it doesn't upset you. At first I thought, well, why my song? Why can't you put a hot dog jumping in a bun behind somebody else? Put it behind Olivia's song. <laughs> but when I saw it, I thought it made total sense. And it was a classic idea. Oh, Sandy. Grease co-creator Jim Jacobs, who had been banished from the set, worried that his musical would become a milquetoast movie. But John Travolta and Jeff Conaway assured him his racy coming-of-age story was only getting souped up. These guys had a long history of going back with it on the stage. So John says, don't worry, we're, we're, we're saving it, we're rescuing it for you, don't worry. I felt very strongly that we shouldn't let the movie get into kind of cotton candy. What I really wanted to do was preserve the grit of it. Even though we got palm trees in the movie, I think we did keep some of the toughness of these kids. As far as choreography goes, it's pretty close. Anyone doing tasteless or vulgar movements will be disqualified. That means that's how. Can we keep it clean, please? Let's keep it clean. At the dance-off, Jeff was supposed to come up behind me and get my dress pulled up over my head. And um, he had to do it just right. So we just practiced a lot. <laughs> Choreographically, I just did stuff for them that I thought was as raunchy and funny as possible. Who is she? They call me Cha-Cha, because I'm the best dancer at St. Bernadette. With the worst reputation. It was a sheer abandonment. And uh, I think that's why it came off so, so sexy, so sensual. What are their names? Fred and Ginger. Fred and Ginger. <laughs> to keep in step with the dirty dancing, the movie makers push the limits with daring dialogue. You know, if you fix up this car, it could be Make Out City, you know that? Right, the chick is going to have to pull it out before she even gets in. <laughs> you better believe it, man. Some of the lines were a little bit racy, and for some reason, the censors, nobody ever said anything. Okay. So you guys think this is a gangbang? You wish. <laughs> it was just on the edge, and everybody laughed and thought it was kind of cute. What's your name? Marty. Marty what? Maraschino. You know, like in Cherry? There's a wholesomeness that balances that more controversial content that we tend to be very comfortable with. Danny! Jim! Danny, get off me! And they were smarter with you! I, I thought it meant something to you! The filmmakers were constantly walking a fine line between tasteful and tawdry. Why couldn't the grease lightning? The greased lightning scene is a perfect example. In the play, it was an R-rated how-to, a tune about turning a Buick into a bedroom. But the stage version was too racy for Hollywood censors. There was a scene in the play where they mentioned that saran wrap is being used instead of a condom. In the play, it was very clear because when the character of uh, Kaniki or Danny, I forget which it was, took the saran wrap, they, they rubbed it around their middle, okay, section. And we weren't permitted to do that in the movie. So I said, but we, we got to keep it in there. And they said, well, you can, like, flag it, like, through the air. But in the final cut, Travolta still managed to sneak in a quick rub with a wrap. Anybody who has seen the play or understood it would get that reference. Are you going, Volker? John's salute to safe sex only served to egg on fellow Grease veteran Jeff Conaway. As Kanicki, he went to great lengths to ensure his role as a greaser came across with biting authenticity. Riz, Riz, Riz. Could you call me my mentor's name? Oh, 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 oh. Betty, Betty. Betty, 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 Betty. Oh. 